The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy home improvement store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad and today I'm sitting down with Mr. Bob Goff. What's going on? Hi there. It's a busy week. I know. Hey, I'm glad to be back. I feel like I have been back before this show, but the one that mm -hmm. we did, we didn't have great audio. Yeah. So <laughs> Club Muddy, no Club Muddy last week because of technical difficulties. Tech. We'll be back. We'll be back this week though, yep. for sure. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. I, I probably won't see David all day. He's, uh, well, as we record this on Monday, there are things you'll read about it in, uh, in, because this is going to start, we'll air this Tuesday morning. Uh, David spent most of Monday in court with Bradley Yon. Always fun. He's so lucky that yeah. he gets to witness that. And this is this is some of the ancillary charges. This isn't the jury trial for the actual crime he committed, which is why he's in the jail. So right. he'll we'll eventually get around to the judges will eventually get around to that though. So um, what's like the longest a trial has lasted based on someone wanting to represent themselves and just do you know? I have no idea, but I think it's I think it's like seems like well he's just everything he can do not to go to DOJ. And he's he can postponing just, everything, yeah. He can yeah. Just, or to DOC, and he can yeah. just chill out in Adams County. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a, a long and drawn out deal, that's for sure. So crazy. And then we've also got the Bleefnik case coming up again this week. They're going to check on some motions. They're also going to check on some of the probate issues as well. Okay. So it's the civil part of it. Uh, obviously, uh, m many people. Are, are concerned about the the well-being of the children right that's one of the things i'm sure will be discussed um as well as this uh, probate now are you talking about so like all the funds that have been kind of frozen assets and, and yes and okay. how is uh i mean Tim, timothy bleefnik how is he going to be able to pay for his defense right that's one of the things they're talking about um so a lot of that's going on uh, in court uh on uh, on today on tuesday and we'll have reports on that later on 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 muddy river news and then uh, we'll have uh just a status update on the actual uh criminal case itself also coming up this week too so okay. a lot of busy a lot of busy court action as well yeah. so yeah and then all the all your favorite uh boards are meeting this week the county board the park board of course city council meets every week now there is something interesting about county board though it's meeting on wednesday instead of tuesday why is that because back in the day the adams county board used to consist of representatives from every township there are 23 townships in adams county and so all of their supervisors and some other elected folks made up the adams county board at one time the adams county board had like 40 people on it holy yeah that's and a lot of people then it went down to 28 and that's down to 21 but all of those supervisors for each of the townships all sat on the county board and they always had their annual meetings on the second tuesday of the month well the county board meets on the second tuesday in every month so out of tradition every april the county board meets on the second wednesday of the month instead of the second tuesday of the month huh Okay. So that's that's why they're doing that. All uh, right. We're going to be t probably talking about financing body cams, things like that, yeah. uh, because that yeah. was a situation that uh, that came up earlier. I think there's going to be some conversation about the recent election we just had. Yeah. Um, because you know there you know we uh, we still have a tie that the we're tie. waiting to decide, yeah. uh, but people want to talk about the procedures, and I think uh, Ryan Neekamp did a pretty good job of explaining that stuff when he was on here last week. Yeah, I understood uh, it. So if I understood it. It, then he did a pretty, pretty well, you're good smart job. though well, you're very sometimes smart sometimes i'm like what I don't know. but anyway so i think that um we will be talking about that as well because it's all about you know when the votes are counted especially the mail-ins and the absentees and and things like that and the early voters and now we are still waiting on those ballots that were postmarked by april 4th but have not arrived yet they'll keep checking on those uh they're gonna have another check on those i believe uh, wednesday of this week last count there was like the, the, two right yeah there yeah. were two okay so the final count for that will be uh two weeks from election day so a week from tomorrow is when they will tabulate all the mail-ins that receive that were received and then we will see if we have a winner and if yeah. we don't have a winner pull it out of the hat pull it out of a hat it's so wild and that's yeah. on april 18th so yes. we'll we'll 
I'm sure it will have a winner one way or the other, but stranger things have happened. So. Well, I don't know how the lottery, when the lottery takes place. I, I would assume that, you know, you, you've still got to count if somebody wants to do a recount. Yeah. You have, there are a lot yeah. of, a lot of factors here. But then they so. have to, don't they have to pay for a recount believe, or however that works? I believe they have works? to pay for, pay for themselves. Yes. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's not cheap. So we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens with that uh, here coming up again. We're a week away from that, but uh, anyway, it's still a, a very busy news week as it, uh, we haven't had many slow news weeks lately. That's no. For sure no and i mean good or bad it is what it is and that's that's why we're here to cover it all and yeah and not only you know the the courts and the school boards and the park boards and blah 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 but on the daily muddy i get to enter i get to do the fun part mm -hmm. i think i get to interview everybody about um you know new things they're doing new businesses opening um getting the word out about uh, things that maybe people don't know about, right. uh, also fun events in town. And yeah, so I get the, I get the fun part. Thanks for that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. anytime you want to come cover some courts with me, just let me know. You know, I do find that interesting. I had jury duty, uh, one time I've been on, uh, on a jury and it was probably the most, one of the most interesting things I've ever done. It was really, really cool. Uh, it's also very intimidating because you realize that it's kind of in your hands and you have to really pay attention and, yeah. And so. there's so much on the docket right now. I mean, that's why, you know, David and I are kind of splitting that up. David handles the bulk of the court duty, but right. every once in a while I do some of that as well, because of course I'm also trying to like kind of run this place too. Yeah. So we're kind trying, of, to, we're trying yeah. to make sure that we can, you know, work together and, and make sure we get everything covered that needs to be covered. So yeah. but, uh, again, like I said, just uh, another busy week and just keep uh, coming to Muddy River News and we'll keep you updated. And the app. I was going to mention the app yeah, because yes. I have that app and I'll tell you the notifications that I get on breaking news stories is so cool. We've got about a thousand people who've signed yeah. up for the app so far. Yeah. So that's that's been very good for us. We yeah. appreciate our sponsors for the app, uh, Peter's Heating as well as uh, Hilbing. Um, they were great partners with us to help get that thing launched because again, we we're you know, trying to reinvest and all of the technology and just try to make uh, you try to make our site as as user friendly as possible so you guys yep. can keep coming to it and we can see those numbers climb so absolutely and always welcome to feedback always yep. willing to talk to people who have cool stuff or new stuff going on so uh right into news at muddyrivernews.com there we go i always get it wrong and then we've got uh, there's a there's a section on the on the site as well you can just go to and ship your comments perfect so, yep. so a lot going on which we uh we love hate we love having the ability to help bring awareness and some of the stuff that's going on is not pretty but again it's it's our job to bring it to you the way we do best and that it's is first yeah that's why we're here that's right i'd right. rather be right than first we're first a lot but it's more important to be right than first 100 yeah. percent, absolutely i love that about us yeah cool all right uh, on that note coming up we speak to our friends at golden bridges stay tuned a great night's sleep starts at harvey's furniture check out the large selection of complete bedroom sets and when it comes to mattresses, we have a full selection from Vemco, Spring Air, and Chatham and Wells. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carry out is available too. Now with the convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. And welcome back. Joining me now, we have T. Heberlein. And T, you are with Golden Bridges. And as I said before, I didn't have a whole lot of, uh, I guess... 
awareness about what Golden Bridges is or what y'all do, but after looking at it, it's so neat and so niche that it is, uh, it's definitely something this community needs. So awesome that you guys are providing it. Also, uh, we were just chatting before we came on. T is relatively new with Golden Bridges. So anything that he doesn't get right, don't hold it against him, right? He's got like a cheat sheet and we're talking about a really, a bunch of really cool stuff today. Uh, but welcome T. Thank you for having us. Of course, of course. Um, so Golden Bridges, run me through just like the quick elevator uh, pitch of what what you do and who you are. Well, we are uh, senior and specialty move managers. Okay. So that means we help people in transition, whether they're moving, downsizing, decluttering, um, or just need some space back. We help them do all that. And um, we give free estimates on how to do that, uh, what they can do, what we can do to help them okay uh, in, in their spaces now is this just seniors or is this like can can i call you how how does that work what's the is there an well, umbrella initially, initially it started out as senior move managers okay now it's incorporating senior and specialty move managers okay so whether it's just an individual any age um or offices perfect need to declutter downsize maybe a file room needs to be gone through sorted you see all the you see the uh, the opportunity I will, I will here, put right? You on the list. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. There's a little bit of room for opportunity here, um, but yeah, that is so so cool. So uh, downsize, relocate, organize, project management, right? You yes. you do it all, yes. which is so cool. Yeah, and, and we never want to leave anybody in want. Whatever right. they need, we want to help them do that. Right. And even if it's something we don't do, we will find you somebody. Okay. That will help them in that particular uh, situation. That's great. And I saw one of the things when I was kind of doing a little bit of research is you help, um, you kind of take the, I don't want to say the emotion out, but even me, I don't want to say I'm like a hoarder, but I have a hard time parting with some things just due to, you know, uh, the sentimental value. And I'm sure as you get older, a lot of that kind of, it's, it's almost harder to get rid of. So you come in and bring, um, almost like the subjective, right? You're like, I will come in and take a look. And of course you're gonna work with them. Yes. You're not just gonna toss things out, oh, absolutely but not. you do bring in a little more logic versus emotion when you're when you're trying to help organize and downsize. Correct, and you yeah. mentioned the hoarders, which is a special situation with which the ladies, the owners, uh, Suzanne, Susan, and Nancy are all trained in hoarding situation and regular situations. Okay. So they're, they're great at coming in and being able to assess the situation and and walk the person through it yeah. and help them. Okay, do I need to keep this? Do I need to throw it away? Right. Do I need to give it away? Um, is it a donation or giveaway? Um, do I need to have an auction for it? Is it something that's got value? Sure. And is it something I can pass on to family members and help them through that whole step-by-step -step process? And it's not just come and throw it away because right. it, it's their stuff. Right. I mean, they've accumulated it, it meant something. Yeah. Them. And so we want it to mean something to them when it's when it's going out. Absolutely. Okay, what, how, do, how do we do that? Do we is it something we keep or give away, throw away, donate? You know, yeah. we go through that process with them. And the ladies are awesome at that, and well trained and well well versed in that. And like I said, um, they're just they just do an incredible job. Of, yeah. of meeting people where they're at and in where they're at and helping them through that whole situation. Sitting down with them yes. and kind of working through through that with them. That's great. I mean, when I mentioned hoarders, I wasn't, I'm not trying to like make light of it because I do know that it is, you know, that it does afflict a lot oh, of yeah. people. And, and we do help with the hoarding situation. Like yeah. We're well trained in that yeah. and how to handle those situations. And that is something that I think, you know, even after seeing just a couple of instances of it, it's something that um, those individuals really need help with because a lot of it is more mental. And that's nice that you guys actually take the time to sit down. That's yes. that's great. So um, although it's not something I originally thought of, I mean, I was thinking senior, you know, let's say like my mom is ready to, not that mom's a senior, <laughs> she didn't hear me say that, yes. but when she's ready to downsize, helping her kind of go through things and organize and, I think that's just a great service. Yeah. That's what, so great. What we've ran into a lot is, and just in my short time with them, I've got to sit in on a couple of the consultations is a lot of the kids or generations, you know, younger than myself even, don't want all that stuff. Yeah. Now mom and dad are left with, what do we do with this house full of stuff? Yep. Um, we had one couple we talked with and 43 years of accumulation and stuff. It wasn't hoarding by any chance, but it's full, just stuff. the house was full. And yeah. Moving to a house, house half the size, what are we going to do with this? Um, the gentleman and, said, I'm sorry. No, you're good. He Go said, ahead. Um, my daughter lives far away. She said, dad, I'm going to take off three months unpaid leave to come help you get this house and moved. And, and when we come in and showed them what we could do and how we could do it, um, 
he, they both, him and her, were like a weight's been lifted off our shoulders. Now the daughter doesn't have to come do it. She didn't want anything. Right. And, now and then we it's, helping him through that. yeah, it eliminates the, uh, uh, I don't want this stuff, yes. shoot. Yes. Because, I mean, to be honest, it seems like there's been a shift, whereas, uh, you know, my parents were more in the knickknack, in the curio cabinets, mm-hmm. in that, you know, we want all of the collectibles and the Hummel figurines and bubble fairies and blah, blah, blah. And kids today, not kids, but even people my age and younger um, are more minimalist, it seems. It seems like there's a shift to that, you know, to the non-collectible side. So, but you don't want to disappoint your parents and let them, you know, you don't want them thinking that, oh, I don't want any of this stuff. But a lot of times there's just no room, you know? So another cool, I mean, that's just another cool perspective about what y'all are doing. And also you have, um, you have a really cool anniversary coming up, right? Yes, this is our 10 year anniversary. April 1st was 10 years. 10 years, that's awesome. As, and I'm sure you all have seen some some crazy stuff. Uh, but you have some events coming up. Um, Thursday is the first one. Thursday the 13th is the first event, right? It's the uh, Chamber After Hours. Yeah, Quincy Chamber After Hours um, at our place at 3701 East Lake Center. Okay. Um, it's from 430 to 6. So it's kind of a open house, a meet and greet, things like that. Just show you where we're at, what we do. We have some fun activities and, and refreshments and everything to go okay. along with it. It'll be, a, it'll be a good, good evening. And it's open to the public. Um, and yeah, some, some, just some uh, fun evening, right? And right. aimed at bringing awareness to what all you can do. So even if you're questioning, you know, if Golden Bridges is, you know, someone who can help you, go check it out. Ask some questions, right? For sure. Yeah, yes. that's an awesome resource. Um, and then you also have, uh, uh, in conjunction with your tenure, you're doing some pretty cool stuff. One is the the food collection, right? Yes, we'll talk a little collection. bit about that. Um, we work with the, the National Association of Senior and Specialty Move Managers. That's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> but um, we're a part of that, and part part of what they do is it's called Move for Hunger. So they encourage people when they are moving and downsizing, getting ready to go to another spot, what are we going to do with all this food? Yeah. Any non-perishable food, we encourage them to give it away. Uh, so that's part of the Move for Hunger. So nationally, we're part of that. So in conjunction with that even, um, we've partnered with about uh, 17 local companies uh, we've been posting them on our Facebook and everything, the ones that are partnered with us to collect for the whole month of April, kind of to go along with our anniversary. Okay. So we in turn are going to give what we can to Horizons and then any of the little individual little cups and peanut butter, things like that, oh, yeah. we're going to sort out and put in the mini pantries. The little Quincy. pantries. So, That's great. Yeah, because yeah, I, I can imagine when you're downsizing, you have stuff that you're like, ah, I don't, this has been in yes. my cabinet forever and yeah. it's still good, but right. I don't need to take it with me. Yeah, as long as the date's still good. Right? Yeah, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But yeah. that's a great, but yeah, that's a great uh, partnership there. Yeah, so that's just, just really cool. That as a part of our tenure, just to say thank you back to the community. Yeah. That's given us so much uh, in these first 10 years. That's great. That's mm-hmm. excellent. Uh, well, as we kind of said, you're you're a little green. You've yes. been there since <laughs> March, but you, I think you did a phenomenal job. And I think, uh, you know, they got the right job to kind of the right guy for the job to come on and talk about all this stuff. Um, you do seem very passionate about it. You know what you're talking about. And I can imagine when you're a part of something like this, it's kind of hard not to be passionate. Right. right? right. Yeah. Um, so Golden Bridges, you have um, you provide solutions in times of transition. So how what are kind of some of your like core values? What's the mission? What's the uh, like what's the why statement you know like why are you doing this well our mission statement is uh, providing solution for those in transition yeah and we always say it's it's your move golden bridges can help that's kind of our tagline that's great so, yeah so we want to incorporate that but um, our core value is always compassion innovation determination and we always want to make sure that we're doing the best we can for the yeah. clients uh, because every situation is different um, we just want to make sure they're taken care of and that there's nothing left unsatisfied for them right that we're doing everything we possibly can like i said if it's something that we don't do or especially that we don't do we will find them somebody we've got that network now after 10 years of vendors that we work with sure that specialize in certain things that we don't do and we know hey we know a guy right we know a gal that does this and right. we'll be able to help them that way excellent so, um, excellent and so another um, i don't know if you're gonna hit on that or oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 okay so, <laughs> sorry yeah, yeah go for it yeah okay. do it uh, another great uh aspect and something that we're doing for for community and just to say thank you is being part of the red cross's uh um smoke alarm yeah i was kind of paused no you're <laughs> good you're good I'm trying to think of a way to say it um, yeah they they provide free smoke alarms up to three per home um, that's a 10 year kit of smoke alarms. So there's no batteries to change or anything like that. Okay. Uh, they provide them for free and we at Golden Bridges provide the service of putting them in for free. Excellent. So, um, to date, not just with Golden Bridges, I've done it in the past. Also, um, almost 1200 alarms I put in, in the 
Quincy area and surrounding wow. areas. And off to a great start with Golden Bridges, probably in over a dozen homes now with with about 25 alarms installed so far wow. just in this first month. So how do they qualify for that? Uh, What's There's no qualification. Oh. If you have a home. Uh, you qualify. You, you qualify. Wow. Um, okay. no income or anything like that. The only thing is not uh, landlords or businesses. Are okay. Not that. Um, some tenants are able to call if, um, if they've talked to their landlord and it's okay. The tenants can call and we can have put them in. Huh. So, well, that's a hell of a service. Yes. Yeah. It's, that's... A, it's a great, it's another way of saying thanks yeah. to the community and be able to get these to people that need them and knowing they're a little bit safer yeah. when I leave than when I got there. That's awesome. And how long is this going on? This is in until they, the program Indefinite? comes out. Yeah, okay. definitely. Um, they've got another supply coming in. Um, I'm a little low right now. I got to pick up more okay. uh, because I put in a few the last, I bet. last couple of weeks. Um, so as soon as I pick up more, I'll be calling more people on my list. Perfect. Uh, and I'm just making a list as I go. So um, just feel free to call and yeah. I'll get you on the list. Speaking of call, how can they get a hold of you? Um, you can reach us um, at, <laughs> I'm going to have to look at You're the number. Go for it. Yeah, he needs uh, a cheat sheet. That's okay. 888-922-6368. Okay. And I'm at extension seven. Okay. Um, and Or they can uh, find us um, on Facebook. Okay. Golden Bridges uh, for you. Dot com is also our website. Okay. So it's Golden Bridges, the number four, Y-O-U.com. Okay. Um, they can reach us there. There's plenty of information there. Um, encourage you to fill out the, the contact us sheet and we'll be able to follow up with you. So Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it sounds like an awesome resource uh, for the community. And if you're interested in learning more, uh, again, they have Chamber After Hours, uh, which is open to the public this Thursday, the 13th. It's from 4.30 4 to, to 6. So if you're curious, you just want more information or you want to go see how they can help you, go check it out. Sounds like it's going to be a fun night. And otherwise, you can just get a hold of them and, and uh, T will come help you or yeah. install your smoke alarm. And there you go. Yes. Well, T, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good luck it. with everything you're doing. It sounds great. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, on that note, I think that does it for today's Daily Muddy. We'll catch you back here tomorrow with more. Muddy River News. Our home. Our news.